Greetings, everyone. I welcome you all to today's sessions, today's Manupatra session on the, in the webinar series on how to use technology tools for increased efficiency in legal process. Manupatra has always endeavored to bring the wonders of technology to the legal fraternity for ease of process for law students as well as professionals. In today's session, we will focus on legal notices. We have with us Mr. Abhikap Koti to take this forward. Thank you. Hi, a very good afternoon, everybody. This is Abhay. I'm joining from my case, Manupatra team. I'll be taking you through this session on how to manage notices using technology uh, from any tools that's, that are available here. So let me share my screen again and let's begin the presentation. So this is in the long line of presentations or webinars that we are already doing. So this is how technology can help lawyers or law practitioners it can be legal teams to manage their operations. Uh, so we have done on contract management, litigation management, compliance management. Uh, we have done for, especially for corporate legal teams, how they handle their operations. So notice is something that is overlooked by many. This is not many people actively go out to search for a notice management solution. Uh, but there is a requirement for this solution because anytime uh, there is a big company which might be receiving multiple notices from different organizations. So it might have like 10 offices across India. Any office might receive a notice and there is a legal team that sits in one particular place. It might not be possible for each and every division to have their own legal team. So how does that notice travel from that division to the legal team becomes one of the problems. Or suppose if you are a counsel for a particular company, there, there might be an issue with you have to issue legal notice on behalf of your company, on behalf of your bank to multiple other clients. Okay, so this leads us to many of the challenges in handling these notices. So if I move on to the next tab, where I'll show you like what are the different kinds of things might occur in terms of uh, handling of the notices. One is like whenever you send to create a notice, it is not an end in itself. It is just a process where a process is being started. So you are sending a notice. There might be a reply that comes your way. Or if a reply doesn't come 15 days after, you might have to follow up on that notice legally. And if there is a revert coming, there might be some documents that are getting attached with that particular notice. So you have to keep an eye on that. And in future, if this becomes a litigation, so you have to present these as notices or as prior exchanges in front of the court. So again, these are very, very important workflows when it comes to important matters. And even if it is not an important uh, like notice that you have received, still you need to keep a track on that so that you are able to put it in a place where if at all it is required in future, you should be able to take a call on that. one. So as I was saying, there are, uh, there are multiple people that work on a notice. Somebody might be drafting it, somebody might be sending it for courier or somebody might be getting the receipt. So these are three, these might be three different people in the same organization. So how do one keep a track on how many notices were sent, how many got received, how many, what, what is happening where? So to have in the current process, even if you are using technology, we spoke to, we speak to uh, like councils or we speak to lawyers, they say we are managing it through Excel, but Excel can do like very little where you can just put in a line entry on what is happening currently, but you will not be able to see on what is the exact status, what is the doc, where is the document that is there, or even if, if anybody refuses to put the due date for that, you are not getting any kind of alert from the system. So these are the different systems that Excel is not built to uh, manage your notices. It is one of the tools that people are using for different things and you are using it for your storing your notices also. Again, manual tracking and monitoring because this is a process where there are multiple people there, there are multiple timelines for each notice. It becomes very, very difficult, tedious for anybody to uh, do it from one system. So again, if you have a system where technology can help you to set alerts, like yesterday only I was speaking to somebody from the GST department. So they received like many notices. He's a tax lawyer and many uh, cases are coming to him in terms of notices. So he needs to keep a track on how many notices I've sent, how many I've reverted, what department notices came, what notice came for this particular client. So managing in today's days and age, all these notices 
from uh, for one that particular practitioner even if he has juniors is not able to do it because he needs to set some alerts also from the system so he asked for this, this specific thing that can i uh, get alerts from the system so that is also that people are coming to us in terms of requirement uh, say there is a metrics control also. So I was speaking to somebody from like it's a big chain of uh, consumer brands in India. So they receive their they have multiple outlets and each outlet might receive a kind of a notice. It might be from a consumer. It might be related to rent and uh, they have no way to monitor those notices on what is happening to that notice because it is received at a department level or at a store level and the legal team sits in Kolkata. And though, so there is very difficult to uh, track like in terms of what happened to that notice and many a times if you don't revert to these notices on time there might be like a couple of these things happened and the notice was not reverted in time this is one of the big mbfc i was speaking to and the, there was a warrant issued in in the name of the director so he said this is very very critical for us right now because it is uh, like it is happening a lot and it is happening more frequently so if you have a mechanism in place where you are able to, whatever notices you are receiving, you are, put it, you are able to put it in a system, you are able to get alert, you are able to make, like, see, like, how many got displayed, or what is happening on this particular notice. If you have a matrix in place, that will help immensely in terms of managing, managing your law office or managing your uh, legal department. So again, you uh, miss dates and timelines is a big issue for anybody who is handling with a lot of notices and there is of course accessibility and search so there is like if you are generating the same notice again and again like today if something needs to be drafted and like two months down the line somebody came to you again with a similar query and you are drafting the same notice again so it is a waste of your time and energy because it should be somewhere there so that in future if i had drafted or some my somebody in my office had drafted a similar notice they should be easily able to access that notice. They should be able to use that template to generate new notices. Okay, so these are the few problem criteria that get to us, that comes to us a lot. And now I show you how do you use technology as a solution to these problems, okay, in terms of handling this mirage of things, which is uh, notice management. Okay, so let's go to the system that I, I have been using, which is, the notice management tab. So this is where you can see your notices. So like if I go into the dashboard, it start from the dashboard itself. So basically this will show me, uh, I'm able to see like once I've logged in into the system, there will be how many notices are there. So I can see how many I'd sent, how many I've received, how many were in which subject I can see uh, based on the status. If I want to see, I can also see that, okay think my screen is not visible to you. Thank you, Manukamna, for telling me that. Uh, let me share it again. I hope this is visible to you now. Okay. Right. So once I've logged in, uh, the first thing that I see is a dashboard of the notices. Like how many, what is happening currently? So many a times you might have n number of things as a somebody who is running a law firm or you are a part of a legal department. There might be n number of things that you're doing. Notices is not in your priority, but you would like to know what is happening actually. So this notice dashboard gives you a bird's eye view on what is happening, how many notices got received at what stages these notices are, on which subjects we are receiving more notices. So if tomorrow boards ask me, I can give them a reward that these are the kind of queries that we are getting for a particular product. So again, this becomes a helpful insight for my marketing team and a product team that they can use uh, for their business operations. Again, this is something that I can use and I can also show them like, uh, like these are the things, these are the kind of reports, notices that we are replying to day in and day out. And that is where our energy is getting invested. So again, there is a lot of value in terms of storing these notices in uh, one place. So I can see how many send notices are there, how many receive notices are there, status of each of these notices that I can see from here. Uh, the subject type in terms of how many, on which subject I've received this notice. Again, this is important. I'll be able to see uh, date wise also like if there is some date where I have to send like this has to be sent on a particular date I can see it from here and if this is not getting sent I can uh, refer back to some of my team members that whether this was sent on a particular date or not so this calendar also helps me in terms of managing what is coming up for other days 
Okay, so once I have come here, there is a tab. So apart from there are many tabs here, just ignore these. There, there is a litigation management, IPR management is also there. Right now we are going to focus on this one, which is the notice management one. So there are two kinds of notices broadly. One is that you are sending, one is that you are receiving. So sending might be more relevant for a lawyer or sometimes the corporates are also sending. So for that, you can click onto this one. And you will be able to send, see the all the send notices. Here you can keep a track on receive. Let me show you how you insert a notice. Suppose you are, how do you, how does this system helps in terms of drafting notices or categorizing different information that I have regarding a notice. So I can put in some internal number. So there might be some internal number that is for my own reference. I can put it here. Uh, the sender's address who like if I'm sending it for my client it will give me the list of my clients if uh, who, is, who am I sending to I can give the receiver's name I can put in other categories also like is a check bounce notice or whatever so I can see at the end of the quarter at the end of the year how many the subject notices we have sent over the years and what is happening I can put also the status what is active what is replied I can add more uh, notice status also from here. I can upload files. This becomes important because the documents with the particular notice I can store from here. And we are giving uh, this option where you can click and you can type. So whatever notice is there, you might be using some existing template that you want to digitize from the system. So you can also use this, type it out here or copy paste from your regular word paste. Um, and so that this becomes, you can save it in the cloud, which you can use in other uh, notices that you are drafting also. So this is a regular notice that you are sending. There might be, these are the certain fields that are available here. There might be some other fields also which are there. So like if you want to add more fields. So these are just broadly these fields should be there, due dates and everything. But if you want to add more fields, like according to your own industry type, according to your own how your law firm functions, suppose you want to capture other things also. Like in terms of the text box, I want to see whether the payment was received by the for this client or not, or what is this client's email ID, or if I want to uh, add any other details for my own industry, like an, I'm an NBFC, there is this relevance for some, some specific field is required for me, or suppose I'm a car manufacturer, I want to see like which vehicle this notice car belongs to, like which model number of this uh, car this notice belongs to. I, I want to put that detail here. So I can put it here from uh, like adding more tabs so that anybody who is typing out this notice, they can additionally add those uh, fields so that I'm able to generate report from the system. So this is where I'm sending a notice. There might be a issue where I'm receiving a notice from some party. Okay, so for that, we are giving an OCR option where you can upload any file. Okay, you can just if you are getting a PDF that uh, you want to upload, that you can do. Or if you are just clicking a snap, you just uh, like this is the notice, I can take out a photo of it and I can upload it in the system. So that make sure that it is a good photo. That is important. So if you want to uh, like put it like this is the body of the text. So I can say this was the notice that was received by me. So I can add it from here, add notice status. Uh, again, if I want to add like uh, other details in terms of who sent me this notice, if their name was mentioned in this one, so I can send this is the name of the person. And if there is uh, like some subject of the notice also, I can put in the subject also. So whatever details you can find from that data, you don't have to type anything. You just upload this notice in the system and it will show you all these details from here. So whatever details you already have, you can add it from this. And in terms of like whenever you have added it in the system, what you will come back to see is whatever details you have selected, it's automatically fetching it and putting it in the right system so that you don't have to do it from here. Suppose again, I want to put in a date of receipt from here or I can put in a date of alert, right? Date of reply where you have to send a reply. So I can again select I by 31st financial year ending so you have to select that this is the due date where i have to reply this so like this you will be able to like map most of the things from the ocr option directly otherwise also if you want to put some details by your own that can also be done so this is very much like i uh, any notice that comes to me i quickly go into the system i put in the basic details i store it there so the easy the catching part of that notice should be very very easy Unless because it becomes very tedious in terms of storing notice. If I'm like 
adding notices in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it is going to take a lot of time. I just, I should be able to put that notice, put it in the system and get the details or most of the details auto populated in the system. And same goes for my, this one, I can generate notices, just putting up whatever filters I need. I can put it up here. So once I've generated a notice, I'll then be able to see a kind of a CRM. This is where I can see all my notices, which stage in these notices are in currently. So I can see date of the notice. I can see due date. If I want to see more details in terms of if I've sent it via courier, I want to see the date of the delivery, whether I put it in the system or not. I want to see the consignment number or the internal number or mode of delivery. So all those details, whatever details you want to see from here, I can select and I'll be able to get it from here. And if suppose I want to see the priority also, so priority, high, low, medium, that also I'll be able to see from here. Okay. Uh, suppose you are sending this notice from a, like this, uh, from a courier. So uh, we also like a system should also have this where you should be able to track it because it becomes very difficult if you are sending it from a speed post. And oftentimes you are required to present this receipt in like in, in front of the law that we had sent this notice, this was the consignment number, it got delivered and this report. Now what happens mostly in the uh, like speed post if you go to every 15 days, they remove all the data that was there stored in the past. Okay, so you don't have this receipt uh, like in terms when it got delivered. So if you're using a notice management system, make sure that you have this feature where you put in the consignment number of this and you are getting an alert based on that. So once you are getting the alert, like whether this got received and you are able to see the report as well. So that report also becomes handy in future whenever you are receiving it. So that also takes care of itself. So like this, you can uh, create from here in terms of whatever notices were sent whether this got delivered or not delivered you can put in the consignment number and see whether this what happened to this all my documents also becomes uh, like i can save see from here i can create different versions anytime i edit a notice or somebody from my team edits a notice they'll be able to see that from here. again like if you are a corporate lawyer or if you are somebody working for a corporate okay so you might not be a, a lawyer a corporate lawyer you might be empaneled by a let's say, say a bank or somebody in that case there might be a chance where you need to get the notice reviewed by the by your head office or by the client so what we have given here is an option to share it with the client directly so you can share it with the client from here the all the list of your clients will be available or you can share it one one of your team members okay so i can share this detail with my whichever team member is available and this will be available to him he can review it or if it might already be shared, it will show that it's already shared with them. So like this, you will be able to share this notice with somebody from your own team. So again, if I go to my team member and show you how. So this similar interface will be available for your uh, the clients as well. So if I go into my platform and I log into my system, I can see that there is a one notification that come where it says that there is new a notice that has been shared with you for a feedback okay so as an as, as somebody who has received a notice also like my client or my uh, advocate has shared it with me i can then click on to this i can see like i'll get an email alert that this was sent you can log in and check and here i'll be able to see what kind of notice he has drafted so once i see that notice from here i can create whatever draft version i want to see i can see it from here it will get downloaded um, and I can make a remark from this one. Say it might be, say it looks good or it look doesn't look good or you need to change something. You need to update the uh, date of this. So whatever feedback the uh, client wants to give or they want to change some information. So you also have an approval process from with, built within the system so that because uh, as we were saying that teams might be working in different departments you want to see like somebody in Jaipur has received it the head office has approved it like this you can send this uh, reply for this so you can give it directly from the system and it, st it stays in the system so in future if any like a conflict comes uh, these uh, you are able to see it in a trail that this particular thing uh, we had received uh, there was this there was this, uh, you need to update something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
अभिषेक सर आप आवाज आ रहे हैं हेलो बोलने म्यूट मार यस थैंक यू सो सर दिस इज अगेन आई थिंक समबडी माइक इज ओपन राइट हेलो हाय हेलो हाय अभिषेक सर योर हेलो योर माइक इज नॉट ऑन म्यूट नाउ इट्स ऑन म्यूट थैंक यू सर um okay now so this is in terms of if i want to change the status for any kind of suppose i have sent a reply to this notice or some revert to this notice was sent to me uh, like suppose i have received a reply from this i sent it to somebody and has finally somebody uh, reverted to me i can then put in those details like i received a reply on this date this was the attachment that was received and i have to set a reminder for this one so again it becomes very very simple step in terms of any new information is coming i can use uh, quickly log on to the system and upload this uh, like whatever reply i have received i can also put in a reminder for myself that it has to be reverted on a particular date from here i can set alerts also like after i have sent a notice like 10 days later i want a revert alert that we have not received a reply from them let's send send this again or any other action step that is there or before a particular date if i want like for this date like between two days prior i should be getting this alert that i have to send a rejoinder for this so like this you can set the alert so that on the email you are getting right kind of alerts and also system should automatically send alerts even if you have not sent the alerts set the alerts from here like 5 days prior on the day of the notice you should get like you should you have put in a due date so that at least you are getting that alert from there additionally you can set your own alerts that should also also be there so if it's an important notice my you might not like number of other alerts you don't mind okay so once i have Up, attached a reply it will be uh, available in this kind of a format so i can see for this notice this was the reply this was the date of reply again if i want to create a rejoinder for this reply that i have received on my notice i can add a rejoinder from here on the same if i click from here i'll be able to see the rejoinder so for one notice all my details like in terms of when i have received when i have sent it when i have received the reply when the rejoinder was sent all this information along with the key documents everything is getting stored in one uh, line chain so any in time in terms of future if anything happens with this matter of it it converts into a case i'll be very this will be very handy for me to manage again so if it converts into a case what happens then so i can see my status from here active reply received there are some status which is converted into a matter also so with this particular notice got converted into a case So what happens then? So you can mark it with a case. So like this particular system has a litigation management tool also, where you can link it with a new or a existing matter. So once you do that, this particular if you click on that matter, this particular case, this was from BPCL and it uh, like went on to become a litigation matter. So I can click onto this. I'll be able to see that particular case, whichever matter that it became after this. what saved so like this you can store you can interconnect your um, notices with your matters again if i want to generate reports from the system it's very very easy i can export it to excel i can select from like whichever column i want to select based on like the demand of the r or like my seniors or my management my client anybody might have asked for this report for me i can select whichever column they want me the report should have and i can generate it from the excel it is happening only because you have made the effort to like take a tool and like there might be migration that is helping for the old cases and you are adding new uh, notices from here so this is for my send notices there is also a received notice column also where this features are very much similar that is there in the received notices where also you get a dashboard where also you see the date of receipt due date the documents you can see you can change the status set the alerts very similar is available both for both sent and received so one platform for both sending and receiving notices documents alerts next day um, like uh, whether the notice is getting delivered or not everything is being taken care of by the same system so it makes my job a hell lot of it easier from if i'm just uh, depending on an excel or if i'm depending on my juniors memory um 
so this is in terms of reminders so whatever reminders i have set me for myself or i have set for somebody else so that can be seen from here um, there is also one request that comes in terms of uh, like we are a like we are representing a, a bank we are a, like impaneled by them and we have to send notices based on based on them like for them we have to send bulk notices to number of other people we have a template in place how do you use this template to send multiple notices at once so how do we do that you go to this where you can create a template so by creating a template i'll mean is i can click onto this and i see like this is a kind of a template that is available in the system where i can see two notice which person is there so all these details I can put in here. So one difference that you will notice from in this particular notice is that there is certain characters which we call variables. So notice the name of the notice will change from one notice to another. So there we have put in asterisk signs. So you can put in whatever variable is there on your form. You can put it in asterisk. The address of the person, the branch, like if you might be sending it for some branch, there might be some, like this is a check bounce case, check number was different. So all these details you can put in, in terms of a asterisk sign, whatever variable is there. Otherwise, the entire notice is the same. Everything is the same. Uh, just the name of the uh, uh, check bounce or the name of the client is changing. So like that, you cre can create a template with all the static, things as well as the variables okay so whatever variables are there you are putting it in a hash okay so once you have done that the next step what you can do is you can create an excel so anytime you can you want to generate a notice based on that template you can select like this is a statutory notice and this is the template that i'm using and i can upload a excel so i can just use my excel to like punch in some detail, like the name of the client, what was the check number for this client. And I can create a kind of a header based on that. So like this, notice address, so my Excel would be looking like notice to address to check number dated. So whatever details I would want to put these, this particular notice has a lot of different variables, but for like a general case, it might not be that much. You just need to have like five, six variable fields that you need to put and you can put it as line items. And once you go to the system, you can select which template you want to use as well as which uh, template or which like the bulk, the Excel that you have created, you can add that Excel also. And there will be this result where you can generate multiple notices based on the same from from the same i can export it into a word format or any pdf format from the same system i can download them in multiple i can i can export them in a multiple format in a winrar format from here so that i can see like my hundreds or 500s of notices in one go which i can then take out a printout send it to the other party or i can also use it in terms of sending these notices okay right uh, so this is where you can handle your uh, like existing notices, your received notices also from this. Um, anytime you want to create a notice, that option is also available. Okay, uh, this is going to be a notice dashboard where you are able to see different notices. So this is what we are talking about, where we say like this kind of automation is possible in today's day and age with the technology that we have. There is an expectation sometimes from a client perspective, like they want to see some AI also into this because notices. So that is also there. Okay. So. Yeah. So this is there. Um, Am I visible? Okay, great. So this is also there. I can see multiple notices here and I can, I'll be able to keep a track of them. So just let me finish this so that we can open up this session for some queries. I'm sure there will be some. So whenever you are taking a notice management system, you need to take care of uh, these couple of things that you should, it should have a dashboard of its own. You should be able to have some kind of a workflow is there. You will be able, should be able to manage. You should get alerts from this. There should be a systemized document management associated with it. You have to make sure how much space you are getting at where, where this um, 
documents are getting stored in which cloud um, how is the security looking like um, you should also be able to set alerts for yourself or if required for your clients also from the same and um, integration with the post office is great where you can get the like whether your note is getting delivered or not that kind of a report would be great so these are just some of the things that you can look into when you are taking a notice management tool before we finish let's just take some queries um, from participants uh, manu kamna anything that is there on the chat window that i need to respond to right yeah so we received a few queries and at the time of registration as well as during this webinar okay so let's begin with the few of them can we integrate our own internal process of working for this so i think this refers to how the workflow can uh, be maneuvered on the tool right 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 so for any tool if you're using a tool like this or so any tool for instance it should have multiple logins so it should not be constrained to one particular person so you can have multiple logins so they when your user or somebody from your team is logging in whatever they are to typing whatever changes they are making in that particular notice you should be able to get a kind of a trail like this is the person this is the edited version of umbrain this is the edited version of abe so i'm able to see that and it will help me and of course for alerts also so many a times in a company somebody might be responsible for complaint related to consumers somebody might be responsible for handling the gst notices so everybody should not get the alerts for each and every so if there is a segregation like that that can be done and if any notice is being uploaded by anybody in my team from the legal so i should be able to see that and there is also like the feedback mechanism that i showed from here where you can take feedback from one another so that you are you know that you are on the right track another question that we had received at the time of registration was do we really need an entire legal entire tool for legal notices this is very interesting i'm sure you would love to answer that is the i think that was behind that thesis only we have uh, scheduled this webinar to answer that question that yes you should if you have more like more than 10 15 20 notices coming to you every month so you should have a tool we should be able to manage these notices the excel are not made for handling notices they are made for budgets and other things so you should not use them to store your notice information and also your documents can be stored in one place yes so let's move on to questions from the chat right uh, how can we see if any notice is linked to a matter okay how can you see if a notice so i show you how this is shown from here so firstly you will see that this is converted into a matter it will show in the status once you click on a like this icon it will show you like which matter this is linked to you can click go and go on to that matter where it will show the name of the matter if hearing date is also there that also it will show and it will show also so which connected notice that it belongs to you can go back and forth from the same suppose you are reading a particular judgment uh, sorry you are working on a particular case you want to go back to which notice it did it arise from so i should be able to do that so both options should be there yes another very important question that has come up is regarding the confidentiality and privacy of the right, right. content that is provided on the tool which is notices so how does the tool ensure that right so and this is in terms of the security this is uh, like it is coming up a little late this is the third question this is normally the first question that comes like security and privacy is some of the one of the most important things and one should be taken care of so i'll give you a hint on what kind of things that you should look for when you are taking a tool so first is the cloud you should be sure where your data is being stored so there are many uh, like there are two three big players in the market which are dependable they do all kind of certifications also to ensure that their services are top class other than that if your uh, notice is being stored in somebody's private server then it becomes difficult because the private server might not have that kind of security capabilities there might not be a disaster recovery system so if you are storing this notice in a cloud system and in a good cloud system so it it makes your life a little easier on top of that you can also look for certain kind of uh, certification so these are third party certifications like iso vapt 
So these are independent audits that are done by third parties to ensure that the a cloud space is secured or nobody can penetrate it in terms of security. So again, these are some of the things, VAPT, ISO certification that you can look and you can ask your um, whatever service provider is there. You can also see, uh, ask uh, in terms of whether the whatever data is encrypted or not, what kind of encryption that they use. Um, so these kind of things you can ask from a service provider in terms of accessing the security part of it. Right. So the other one that we uh, received is a two-part question. Uh, if we send notices through email, right. which email ID will be used? And the other part is, can we integrate our own email to send the notice? Uh, right. So this is a like a very common question that comes. Again, this is something because normally if you are sending a notice, you would want to have your own uh, email ID there. But in the system right now, we whenever the notice comes, it will show you like in that in the bottom, it will show you that this is coming from this particular party and it will be going from no reply at the rate my case dot in. So the email ID will be no reply at the rate my case in, but the the name of the person or whatever the details, because we cannot mimic your own email ID. Uh, that is not, uh, that's even uh, just difficult because we'll be impersonating you in some way in that ways. So nobody can say that this is coming from this ID. It will be going from no reply at the rate, but it can have, like in the bottom, it might have those details. And whenever anybody is replying to that particular notice, it will come to your dashboard. So whenever anybody is sending a reply on this, this whatever is to be done, should not go to no reply at the rate my case. It should go to this particular email ID. So that is there. Right. Uh, we have received one final question is, what is the price of this tool and how it can be purchased? Okay. Is... Although I have written that please do connect with us. I'm sure Abhi, you can take this better. Right. For that, I'll direct you to my um, these two email IDs, contact at the rate my case dot in, contact at the rate manupatra.com. So in terms, if you are looking for a subscription, you can connect us over there. We can have a telecom or we can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting to understand your requirements. And based on that, we can give you a pricing. So first of all, let us meet and understand your requirements. That is more important. Then we can share the pricing of the system. So we have also received a lot of interest in other uh, portions of my case, okay. specifically IPR and case management. Right, right. Uh, we have already taken up uh, these sessions previously. Those videos will be available very soon. Uh, right. But please uh, do connect with us at the given email IDs, contact at the redmycase.in and contact at the redmanupatra.com if you want to know more about it. Uh, IP management, IPR management on my case specifically deals with the uh, all different types of IPR that we have, the idea that we went in with is the our own trouble, basically, that there is so much of to take care of, but the website is not available. And then we also have to uh, specifically do certain particular classes for trademarks. But on our tool, we can do this across classes. We cover patents, uh, GI, copyright, trademark. And so we were able to do this for ourselves. So we put it out for the world. Uh, for case litigation management, as the name suggests, your all your races across courts are online for you to track and see. And so that's how the my case uh, goes along with the notice management. We also have in my case, a corporate request management as well that goes on. So you can also check out the video for that as soon as it is available. Uh, in this series, we also had few other portions where we talked about uh, contract management. Uh, we also talked about compliance, and of course, IPR, as you previously mentioned, the idea of the entire series was to introduce the idea of technology for legal processes and how it can improve the way we do or make it easier for us to uh, work and save our time and effort so that we can dedicatedly focus that time towards more uh, productive outcome. And so we hope that this entire session was uh, helpful and insightful for you all. I really, really uh thank you all the attendees for the webinar series for your valuable time i thank abhay for right. his valuable time and insight on this uh if we have if you any of you have any more questions please do let us know and then we can um, take this up is my case included with manupatra subscription mm, no 
So this is a separate subscription. It's coming from the same parent association. I can see where you're coming from, but um, it's a separate product. This is for more in terms of your litigation management. The Manupatra product is more in terms of doing the research. So two different products and the pricing is also different for these two products. Right. Right. So I think that concludes the session today. Right. Thank, uh, thank you all for joining and uh, hope to connect with you all in some other manner soon. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Thank you everybody for joining in good numbers. Hope to see you in the next webinar. Okay. Thank you.